idea where I am. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. But we're riding this train from Chicago to Seattle. We're headed west. I'm Mike, the channel's Downy Live. Let's get it started. Here we are in Chicago, heading into the iconic Union Station to ride the Amtrak Empire Builder. 46 hours on a train across America. We're going to show you everything about this trip on and off the train. What's it like to sleep on this train and to cross the United States of America? Now what? Okay, first things first, we gotta check out Chicago Union Station. Now before we check out Chicago Union Station, I wanna thank today's sponsor, the High Speed Rail Alliance, for partnering with me to bring you this video. Let's go check it out. Wow. Wow. This place is beautiful. Frankly, if you've been watching for a while, you know exactly who I'm bringing along with me. It's Will Edmund, guys. Where'd he go? <laughs> I thought you were there. <laughs> so you can check out his channel. Not yet. Watch the end of the video, then head over, subscribe if you're not already. Yeah. So after checking in, we went next door to the Metropolitan Lounge, which is for business class and sleeper car guests. It's a two-story, beautiful waiting area with a small buffet of healthy snacks and a few not so healthy ones. So Union Station here kind of feels like an airport, although it's like a stunningly beautiful one. But the nice thing is, haven't had to go through any TSA, any security. We just walk from the lounge out to the tracks. Easy, it's relaxing. I don't know if you can even hear me, but Chicago is sort of the hub for the whole country. Most of the Amtrak trains either start or end here in Chicago, right here at Union Station. So this train is jammed full of them. This is it, our Superliner roommate, with George M. Pullman. It's time to board. I packed as light as possible. I really don't have much with me other than a, my camera gear and that bag and a little bag here. But I was told to maybe leave some stuff downstairs because the, the rooms are a little tight. Imagine, imagine being on a ship. Oh, you fit in there? Uh, I mean, I'm 6'2", and this is about six foot four inches maybe okay give or take so what do we have all right so we have a bed here and then this lays out into a bed this is five star traveling on a train <laughs> i don't think it's been officially rated that <laughs> but i rated it it's pretty much last call we're just waiting for the all aboard we got to get on but i want to make sure you know we're going to show you the room we're going to wander about we're going to show you the dining car we're going to try all the food <laughs> We're gonna show you the bathrooms. I'm gonna take a shower. No, I mean, I'm not taking them with you. No, <laughs> no, but I'll bring you along. That's different. That's okay for some reason on the internet. But day two, from then on, that's the scenery. That's the beautiful Montana, Rocky Mountains, all that. So stay tuned. Let's, Mark, let's you go. You ready for an adventure? Yeah, let's do it. I, I can't. Let's go. Please have your tickets out. Conductors will be coming through to scan your tickets. My first time is gonna be Glenview. important because this will let us know if we're staying on track and what I'm most curious about because we will be on this train if we stick to schedule for 46 hours however I know that Amtrak passenger trains tend to get delayed I want to know how delayed we will be when we arrive in, in Seattle Milwaukee. Always wanted to come through Wisconsin, and this is definitely a vibe. I like the fact that you can see the snow on the rocks. There's a small river that runs under the bridge, and the sun is sitting off in the distance. It's about to set in about an hour and a half, two hours. I'm hoping for like a 12 hour delay and just because we've paid to be on here, all of our meals are included. So I'm just gonna hang out, eat breakfast, eat lunch, eat Good dinner. Point, Mike. You know, this is like a cruise for me. We're not going anywhere. I'm not going to Seattle. I'm here 
For this? Look how cute this station is. Hit, hit that! Hit that. There we go. That's a nice station. Okay, I think it's time to hit the observation car. Maybe see what's on the other side of this train. So it's pretty simple. Close your door, your stuff's pretty simple. Stuff is safe there. Head down the hall. We have a washroom here. I can hear Will vlogging in the bathroom right now. Uh, after this, go go watch his video. I can only imagine. <laughs> Busted. Busted. <laughs> so you can see the size difference of a roomette. There, there's roomettes on each side with a hallway down the middle, whereas this way, the bedrooms are significantly larger. They go from the side all the way to the other side here with the hallway over here. So this room is essentially twice the size. We're gonna go past all of this down to the observation car. Wi-Fi on this train, so Will and I have opted to watch this screen for the next little bit, getting our healthy screen time in. We're in uh, Columbus, Wisconsin right now. Very small station, small town, uh, and you know it's a small town when the train is stopped across a main road, blocking traffic as we're in station. Don't worry, we, we shouldn't be here long. This is probably the perfect time to tell you about the High Speed Rail Alliance. The High Speed Rail Alliance is an organization that's connecting governments, businesses, people like you and I, rail fans, to bring high speed rail to America. It's a great way to connect communities and improve the economies of a number of small towns and big cities across America. So, if you believe in that, like I do, then go ahead, click the link I've put in the description down below this video. You can sign the petition to help tell Congress that you would like high-speed rail here in America, as well as you can become a member, and that means every month a small donation goes towards them to continue their fight to bring high-speed rail to America. I mean, how, how fantastic would that be? So it doesn't take long at all. Hit the link down below, sign the petition, become a member, and we can change America. Yeah. Wow. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that? Those will be the days. High Speed Rail Alliance. They didn't tell me to do a jingle. I just, I just went with it. If this was a faster train, maybe I wouldn't be singing jingles. But I'm going to go with it. High Speed Rail Alliance. That's hsrail.org. <laughs> I said I was locked in a bathroom, but I finally got it. Okay, so you're out now. Yeah, I'm out now. Okay, good. Woo! Adventures on the train. Adventures of Will. <laughs> there he is. Yo, I got locked in the bathroom. By who? By myself because there's a small opening that you had to put your finger through, and my fingers are big. And I couldn't get it, I was in there just stuck. <laughs> so you called me for help? Yeah, I called, because there was nobody else could hear me. I was like, help! <laughs> so sometime between 7.30 and 8.30 at night, our car attendant is gonna come by and convert our room from the chairs to the beds. So we've left it as clean as we can. And uh, we're gonna come back and this is gonna be beds. It's magic. It is magic. <laughs> okay, we have to figure this out, Will. Yeah. Who gets top bunk? Who gets bottom bunk? Rock, paper, scissor. So the difference is the bottom bunk has a window. Top, top bunk, bunk doesn't have a window and it has a curve. The top bunk is built like a casket. Like you. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Pretty good. A little capsule. It's snug. It's snug. Very snug. Yeah, very cozy. Mm -hmm. And with these cute safety belts, too. Safety is sexy, folks. <laughs> Don't you forget it. Safety is sexy. Uh, I think right. you're going to need this, Mike, because you're very clumsy. You may fall out. Rock, paper, scissors. You ready? Uh, winner gets top. Winner gets top. You want? Okay, winner gets top? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know, so you get the top. <laughs> you said winner gets top. No, I mean I get to choose. <laughs> okay, it's time for a famous bathroom tour. I'm not gonna lie, other than it being pretty yellow and not super spacious, 
like in airplanes. I mean, this one's actually more modern than the other two Amtrak trains I've been on, so I feel like they've upgraded since the last time I've been on one. So I, I call it a win. I mean, also like, what do you expect? So far for me, the experience has been a lot more relaxing than coach. Normally I'm like, just trying to get through it. And now I'm like, really enjoying it from the sense of like, a holiday. Like this is, this is my vacation. I'm so relaxed and so comfortable. I have my full, full sweatsuit. Even my, even my slippers. What are we dealing with here? Let's see. Mattress, three inches thick, firm, but I think I'm just gonna get lulled to sleep tonight with the, the rocking of the train and that like general white noise of the tick -tick 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 -tick. I, I'm gonna sleep so well. All right. I'm starting to feel like I'm in a submarine. But there's the swaying. Oh, good night all. <laughs> it's cozy. It's only two nights. It's like a hostel. But with seniors. <laughs> Before I get tucked in here, I want to show you one more thing. So Will has all the controls down there. He's got a reading light and whatnot down there. You know, I have the big ceiling lights. But I found a reading light, but it's in a really awkward spot. Right here is great, mm -hmm. except it's just straight in your eyes. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Guess I read this way. Good night. Good night, Mike. Good night. Sleep tight. We're gonna be up before sunrise. Can you so. tuck you in? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm tucked in. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll Let set. me know. You, you my friend, bro. You you good? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> we will see you in three, two, two one. Morning, y'all. Time to get up and have some breakfast. It's about 8.30 a.m. We are departing here at 9.06 a.m. And there's a coffee shop right there. Now, this is incredibly risky. I never recommend leaving the train. Particularly, I'm just in a hoodie that's below freezing. And, uh, but, but Will's come to get coffee and I can't ditch him. Oh man, this is so against my character. I just can't. <laughs> I'm like so anxious knowing it, it could go. It could go. We're waiting on a... You no, know, I'm, I'm adventurous. It's a, it's a drive through only, so we're waiting, but I just, I want to get the coffee and go. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not this, I'm adventurous, but I'm not a risk taker to this level. I mean, they are on a schedule. They cannot leave before 9.06. Uh, I guess I should tell you where we are. We woke up this morning. We're in North Dakota. This is Minot, North Dakota. Pretty much what I expected. Hello, how are you doing? Coffee success. Now we just got to make it back to the train. But I think, I think we've got plenty of time. I'm, and you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go to the sightseer car. I'm going to sit down with my, my house brew coffee from North Dakota. And we're going to travel and we're going to hit Montana in about three hours. Got my coffee? Mm -hmm. Now what? Might be. What? Might be time for a shower. Okay, here's the update. We are currently 15 minutes away from our next station, and we're also supposed to have been there 15 minutes ago, which means we're a half an hour behind schedule. I knew it, but we're not, we're not gonna know how late we are actually behind schedule until we get to Seattle. That's in the next video. Today, we are coming into Montana. Beautiful, majestic, rocky mountains. Then we're gonna be cruising through the Cascades tomorrow. That's all in the next video. I'm about to go shower, but guess what? That's in the beginning of the next video. <laughs> if you guys haven't subscribed to Will already, go to check him out. Thank you to the High Speed Rail Alliance. 
go sign their petition to bring high-speed rail to America. It's needed, man. How awesome would that be? Yes, I would take train everywhere but had high-speed yeah. rail in America. Become a member, and I'm Mike, the channel's Downy Live. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. See ya. Peace. We're back on time. So let's quickly talk about the train. It's training on a train. Feel that burn. So let's quickly talk about food. This is it. I'm just kind of surprised. I thought I knew what to expect with Montana. 